hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are seeing my face for the first time my name is gusty chibike so how are you guys coping how are you guys hanging in there i know it has not been easy it has not been easy for me too in case you are hearing any noise uh, from the background you understand that everybody is at home so please bear with me okay so today's topic is this video i saw this video like six days ago but there was no concluding part so i didn't want to share it with you guys yet but now there's a concluding part so i'm here to share it with you guys this plastic surgery hospital called med contour and when you hear the name contour in your mind you're gonna contour the body and put it in shape lies they are not so apparently a lady called them out she did instagram live video and she called them out she was even saying that if anything should happen to her we should hold dr anu of med contour responsible guys so she did a video of where she said if you want to do plastic surgery if let's assume that you don't love yourself enough and you feel that this is not making me if you feel like you need to change something about your body do not go to dr anu of med contour so i'm going to play the video for you guys to see to do. love yourself love your body if you can still work on your body fine and if you decide to get surgery please i am begging you please avoid med contour it's really battling for my life every day and i'm I like i don't want to talk about this thing now i don't really i don't even think i have like i'm mentally okay to talk about the things i went through and all the damage like that was done to me like the, the expense like the like I, i'm literally like financially drained right now but i'll be fine i'm okay i'm getting treatment i'll be fine okay guys so that was the video like the lady was talking with so much pain i could i I could feel her pain from the way she was talking. I could feel her pain, you know. Today, the federal government closed Dr. Arnold's clinic. Apparently, people came out and started giving their own um, feedbacks. You know how maybe this thing has been happening since, and people are ashamed to come out and say, "Oh, I did plastic surgery and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fine. I have a whole lot going on with me right now." Blah 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 blah. Maybe because of some people are actually ashamed to come out and say they did plastic surgery. So Dr. Anu has been living with it, and I'm sure they must have complained to her. But because they've not, they didn't bring it out. They didn't, they, they didn't call her out on social media. She's, you know, still going ahead and doing surgery for people, doing procedures for people, knowing fully whether she had lots of, lots of, um, lots of patients complaining about what she did for them. I think that's wickedness. So this girl coming out to talk about her own gave people the courage to come out and say, oh, I did my surgery with Dr. Anu and so, so and so happened. Like I was seeing lots of pictures, like guys, you don't want to see those pictures. Oh my God, so terrible. I was seeing lots, lots and lots of terrible pictures, injuries, hole in the stomach, like a whole lot, like, oh God. And I'm like, this is, is, this, is this necessary? So you don't know how to do this stuff and you are putting people's lives at risk. It doesn't make sense. It's not plain wickedness when the federal government closed down the hospital yesterday i'm guessing based on so many complaints from people i was happy like yes yeah, you need to close it down do proper investigation because when people start calling this woman out she was still posting on her instagram guys she was still posting and acting as if all of you nothing is gonna happen i know what i'm doing i know my job i know my job then few people few women that didn't show their faces came out to say and he came out to say, oh, I did my surgery with Dr. Anu, I'm rocking my body, I'm blah, 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 I'm fine and all that. Maybe she went to pay people to even come out and say that kind of, maybe her friends. Or the few people that managed to survive came out. Maybe she told them, please come out, make a video and write and say, you did it with me and I'm fine. She even posted one video of, of a girl's body that she did, that the girl commented, you did not do my body. See, if you want to do this plastic surgery, if you feel that oh i want to do plastic research do your research be sure that if 1000 people did this particular clinic 99 came out successful it's not child's play it's not the one of i think is more affordable i heard my friend said my sister said somebody said research on your own if people are giving you places like oh i think you should go to some place go to some place research be sure that yes you are you are you are going into good hands because Either you come out alive, if, if you don't come out alive, you come out disfigured and you're going to live with the rest, you're going to live with it for the, live with it for the rest of your life, regretting, asking yourself, why didn't I just 
stay with my God-given body. Not really a fan of plastic surgery for now, but you know, never say never. Maybe tomorrow I might get married after giving birth, and I'll be like, oh God, I don't like my boobs no more. I don't do a boobs job. I'm a fitness person. I just believe that. I just believe that the gym would do more justice because, funny enough. When you do plastic surgery, you have to be working out like say tomorrow, no day. You have to really be working out. Because I heard that the fat, mm, the weight gain after the surgery is something else. Like everybody that done the surgery will tell you the weight gain is something else. So if you are a Fuji and you're acting all, someone like I'm gonna eat everything I'm gonna eat, I wanna eat the whole world and I'm gonna be alright finally. No, my darling. Your belly is gonna come out again and you're gonna lose the shape and guess what? You're gonna go back to that surgery and done the surgery. Everybody wants to be Kim K now. If you are living in Lagos, before you walk from there to there, you are seeing everybody. Everybody. Big boobs, thin waist, big everything. And funny enough, most of these people are not even doing good jobs. You go and do plastic surgery and one side is bigger than one side. One bump may be looking like a box. So many disfigured people I see on Instagram, I see in real life. And I'm wondering, is this worth it? It's straight to Dr. Anu. You know you don't have to do this thing. This is plastic surgery. This is people's people's lives we're talking about here. Most as I don't get it. I also was saying she didn't really learn it well, or she didn't really learn it how she's supposed to learn it. She just came out and said I opened her own clinic and started doing surgery. This is you, you you don't joke with people's lives, you know. You don't wake up and be like, I know what I'm doing. So yes, this is time for me to joke with people's lives. Basically, I'm, think, I'm saying that if you want to do plastic surgery, please and please and please and please do your research. If possible, go to the abroad. I know I'm in Nigeria and we're supposed to support our people, but no, no when you're going to die. If possible, go outside the country and do it if you can afford that. And if you cannot afford going outside the country, do your research. Go with, be sure as in read and read and read about this particular doctor. Follow up the doctor and the patient. Do a whole lot of research in particular doctor before going to that person's hospital. Let the person open your body and do whatever. And as a doctor, as a surgeon, if you know that you cannot do this thing, don't come out doing it for people. Like, do not. See, I'm sure they see it properly and they realize that this doctor I know didn't even have, maybe she doesn't even have enough experience or enough, um, or she didn't really go to the school well, or she didn't learn enough. They're gonna, they are gonna arrest her and they need to arrest her. They are gonna arrest her. Because you've put people's life at risk. I'm sure maybe, maybe people have even died, but they cannot come out to say, oh, I did bad surgery. So if you don't want to do the surgery, please, don't do if you want to do it please research better and i really feel bad for people that are going through a whole lot because they wanted to feel good about themselves it's not a crime to wake up and say i don't like my body i want to change it if you have the money sis do it i mean it's your life it's what makes you happy as long as you're not doing it for people as long as in your mind let me not get to get more chai cash let me not be so that as in if you're not doing it for people you're doing it for yourself to feel good about yourself then it's okay but be sure to go to a good place be sure to go to a place that yes you are sure that yes this particular person has so many successful stories so guys this is the end of today's video and thank you very much for watching if you are yet subscribed to my channel oh god please i'm begging you 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 please subscribe and don't forget to comment on this um video tell me what you think about plastic surgery and let's talk about let's interact don't forget to stay safe guys stay in your houses stay safe see you in my next video see you in my next video guys bye